Hello, hello. Um, welcome back to another video uh, where I will walk you through how I made this um, most recent 3D environment scene. I will walk you through the whole thinking process and the workflow what I gone through with this with this project. After doing uh, some uh, practice uh, learning with perspective principles in my previous video, which I will be linking into into description i thought i will just switch it up a little bit and do some other environment project to just continue leveling up my 3d modeling skills and other skills that comes with modeling 3d environments and just to enrich my 3d portfolio for potential clients so without further ado uh let's get into into modeling I'm starting this project by setting myself some constraints. I um, think it's much easier to set certain uh, parameters for for yourself before you start actually modeling the whole stuff. Um, it's I, fi I find when I have like a clear guideline where I'm going with the whole thing, it's it's easier for me to move ahead in a project as well. As a theme, I chose to do a treehouse. Um, I actually find it very attractive, like the idea of the treehouse uh, being able to hide away in the forest. And I was involved in one of the projects of the treehouse uh, when I was uh, much younger. It wasn't a successful project, but my nostalgia is still there for it. First, what I did was uh, collect uh, references so I can look at them understand what I want to achieve. Um, I used uh, uh, Pure Ref uh, as a mood board where I where I gathered these references. And I also organized it, my primary references for lighting and composition. I uh, organized the secondary references for uh, like a bigger part of the image, like stone paving, forest uh, foliage like a forest bed um, as well as um, like um, like a lighting that I would like a lighting coming from the windows uh, yeah and other other little bits and bobs for inspiration like assets and stuff I, I gathered for just a overall language and inspiration for the for my image. So now as I have these references uh, collected, I am starting to sketch out my composition, how I would like it to look like for my own uh, project. I wanted the treehouse to look quite high up. Then I drew a few layers uh, of the treehouse just to starting to work out a little bit like the idea of um, how it will look like how the light would hit the, the uh, treehouse. And uh, as I'm now having uh, some idea of what I want to achieve, I will be starting to 3D model it. So first, I start with setting up a workspace. So I have my sketch that I open on the side, uh, as well as like I'm opening um, a view for camera. I tend to focus on modeling parts that I can see through like camera views. It's easier for me to work that way. I know, I know I have a clear viewport that I'm working towards. And after doing a little bit of research of how to model environments, I, um, I realized a very important part is to um, block out the scene with like crude primary shapes. It's easier to start to see how the composition starts to form together. I spent some time on it and um, it is quite important to get it like right at this stage when the geometry is very simple because as soon as you start to like massive changes in the later stages you are starting to double up your workflow with unnecessary tasks when like it's easier to get those steps correct at the beginning. But once I have placed those objects in a frame and like have figured out my composition for this piece. 
um, I start to work on each item individually and start to create cohesive shapes and starting to shape it towards what I have in my sketch. And um, I have been quite uh, intimidated by modeling trees. Blender does have their add-on to generate trees by itself, which is generally good. But if you have like a quite specific design where that you have like a specific tree in mind you can't really use it for that because they are preset trees which are great to create like a um, busy uh, forest that's one thing that professional artists do they they don't model every single thing by themselves obviously there are custom things that has to be modeled but there's a lot of things that are taken from like other um, libraries and other um, sources to just speed up the workflow speed and custom modeling uh, ratio that is optimal for you uh, because i had uh, my tree house in a gnarled up tree that i sketched out i want to have a specific um, tree for this so i need to model it i did some research on how to do it and uh, so I modeled the, the, the trunk and uh, I like it took me a while to adjust the whole geometry to to even look remotely close to what I intended when I got got around the trunk I then had a uh, the next challenge which was leaves and creating a tree crown and uh, realized that that's actually easier to do than I thought. Bring in image um, and then use the particle system to create a crown from that image. I was actually pretty happy that I learned uh, and I will definitely want to do a better job with trees in my next uh, next project. Uh, once I was done with the main trees that I had in the foreground, I moved on to working uh, on the treehouse design. I started to shape the windows um, and uh, the uh, wooden platform that it would sit on. And initially I did quite quite a messy model while, while I was figuring out the geometry of the treehouse, um, which then I split up in the smaller sections and redid that model just because it was so messy and I thought it will be easier for me to remodel the part of that house rather than uh, trying to fix the model. So I uh, copied part of it to fix the mesh of the, of the house. Having a house done, I moved on to doing some texturing. The texturing is actually, I find, one of the most difficult parts for me personally, which I definitely still need to improve on and uh, understand much better how to do. To do a good texturing, you have to have a good base model for it. Otherwise, uh, the, the UV unwrapping, it does not work. They have been like doing some playing around like trying to figure out how to split the trees um, like the UV unwrap the trees so it doesn't look like it's um, the, the texture of the of the bark is like stretched or like all wrap, warped up like in a weird way like that it doesn't follow any direction so I'm focusing on that in in this part and trying to adjust different islands of the UV map so it looks organic. It took me a while to do um, tweaking the textures, but uh, after I am done with the texturing part, I am moving on to uh, adding some smaller assets in, 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 this, in this whole scene. Uh, it's uh, like adding some rocks and some drop leaves on the ground um, and some other like uh, other stuff. I'm just now adding like smaller details and adding leaves in images and then just uh, populating with the particle systems. Um, 
I think particle systems is a great, great thing to have um, and uh, practice it because uh, it's gonna take so much less time um, in your in your workflow. Now I'm done with modeling. I'm sort of have adjusted uh, my view. Looking at uh, doing some test renders, I realized that light is not entirely the way I want. Like it looks quite gloomy, so I'm doing a little bit of a uh, compositing um, in a comp in compositing workspace in Blender. It's almost like a Photoshop based in nodes. After I have adjusted adjusted the background with having a little bit like a sunnier background i just quickly i adjusted this the field of view um to create the focus on the treehouse so yeah um that's that's um uh, pretty much the process of this i'm ready to now render it uh, um i hope you enjoyed this type of video and uh i hope you um enjoy uh these like workflow videos because i probably will be doing more um, as I'm upskilling my uh, 3D um, skills uh, in in 3D modeling, texturing, uh, compositing. Um, so I hope you found this video interesting and informative. Uh, please let me know in comment sections what you think about it. And if you would like to see any of the sections uh, of the workflow in more detail, um, don't forget to like and subscribe for this video to see more of these type of contents. It really helps me out. Um, and thank you for watching and have a good day.